Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will start our seventh lesson of Nurani Qaeda. Before starting, you must know what is Nurani Qaeda. Nurani Qaeda means basic book for beginners to learn Holy Quran. There are 29th letters in Arabic. And in this lesson, we will learn from letter of to noon. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. This is Kari Sayyid Sadaqat Ali presenting online Quranic education with the right pronunciation. Please join us. For more information, please visit our website eQuranAcademy.com. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today our first letter is قاف and قاف has two dots on top Please remember قاف has two dots on top Dots are very significant and you should know قاف has two dots and please read after me. Qaf. Qaf. And Qaf has thick sound, heavy sound. If you raise your tongue toward palate, you can make your sound heavy and thick. Qaf. 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 Let me explain you origin of Qaf. This is tongue and this is base of tongue and this is empty space of mouth. This is uvula. And next to uvula, this is soft part of palate. And this is hard part of palate. And cough per nose from here. Base of tongue, touch with soft part of palate. From here, you can pronounce cough. One more time. This is tongue. And this is base of tongue. This is empty space of mouth. This is uvula. And next to uvula toward mouth, this part, this is soft part of palate. From here, you can pronounce off. Please read with thick sound, heavy sound. Off. Qaf 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 Our next letter is Kaf Kaf has thin sound and has no dot on it Please read after me. Kaf. Kaf. Please read with thin sound. Kaf. 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 Let me explain you origin of calf. This is tongue and this is base of tongue. This is empty space of mouth. This is uvula and next to uvula is soft part of palate and further up toward mouth this is hard part of palate. 
So remember, base of tongue and hard part of palate. Base of tongue touch with hard part of palate. From here, you can pronounce cough. And you must read cough with thin sound. One more time. This is tongue and this is base of tongue. Base of tongue touch with hard part of palate. From here, you can pronounce cough, cough. Cough has thin sound. And there are two cough. This is cough. This letter has thick sound. And this is cough. This letter has thin sound. Both letters have almost same sound. Only you can make difference between these two letters. Reading with thick sound, this one. And this letter read with thin sound. So you can make difference. Read with thin sound. And this letter, off, you read with thick sound. Calf. Please read after me. Calf. 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 Lam. Please read after me. Lam. 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 Let me explain you origin of lam. This is corner of tongue. These are front teeth. And this is first molar. So let me explain you from inner view of mouth. This image has inner view of mouth. This is tongue and this is corner of tongue. For pronouncing lam, touch the corner of tongue with the base or gums of three front teeth from here. You can see green line. This is gums of front teeth. For pronouncing lam, touch the corner of tongue with the base or gums of front teeth and first molar, which is along them. This is first molar. These are front teeth and this is first molar. For pronouncing lam, touch the corner of tongue with the base or gums of three front teeth and first molar which is along them. From here, you can pronounce lam. Uh, you can pronounce either way, right hand side or left hand side, up to you. Lam. 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 Please don't take help from English word because there is no English in Quran. Lam. Our next letter is me please read after me me me
מים. מים. These are lips. מים can be pronounced by joining both the lips together. מים. Please try now. מים can be pronounced by joining both the lips together. מים. מים can be pronounced by joining both the lips together. מים. 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 Our next letter is נון. Please read after me. נון. Please remember, נון has one dart. Remember, נון has one dart in middle or top. נון. Please do not forget, נון has one dart on top. נון. נון. Let me explain you origin of נון. This is tongue and this is edge of tongue. These are front teeth. Let me explain you from this image because this image has inner view of mouth. This is tongue and this is edge of tongue these are front teeth and these are gums of front teeth okay so two parts are very important in this origin edge of tongue and gums of front teeth for pronouncing known touch the corner of tongue with the base of first three front teeth from here you can pronounce noon one more time this is tongue this is corner of tongue these are front teeth and these are gums of front teeth or base of front teeth corner of tongue touch with base or gums of front teeth from here you can pronounce נון. 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 Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters this is Kari Sayyid Sadaqat Ali presenting online Quranic education with the right pronunciation please join us for more information please visit our website equr'anacademy.com now we will repeat today's lesson qaf Cough has thick sound, heavy sound. Cough. Cough. 
قاف كاف 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 has thin sound remember كاف has thin sound كاف actually these both letters have similar sound only you can make difference between these letter by pronunciation uh, this first one قاف has two dots on it this letter read with heavy sound قاف with two dots read with heavy sound and قاف without dot this letter read with thin sound قاف heavy sound قاف thin sound this letter is قاف heavy sound this letter is قاف thin sound next letter is lam lam remember lam has no dot lam 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 Please don't take help from English. Try to recognize this letter because there is no English in Quran. Lam Mim Mim has no dot. Remember, Mim has no dot. Mim Please read after me. Mim 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 Noon Please remember Noon has one dot on top Dots are very significant. Please remember, noon has one dot on top. Noon. Please read after me. Noon. 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 Our today's lesson is completed. Now you please practice this lesson three times a day for three days and we will learn our next lesson soon. If you have any question regarding this lesson or previous lessons, please ask in comments section below and we will give you quick answer inshallah. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.